Okay, welcome everybody to uh, uh, the panel on uh, game funding and, 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 and the especially game fund and the future. Let's first introduce uh, uh, the panel members. Oh yeah, because game fund is uh, going to uh, is going to die. Um, game over. <laughs> Maybe if you to switch, w it it would be less confusing for the people. Yeah, that's my spot, definitely. So we've got uh, Joris, Jeroen, and Peter. If you can introduce yourself very shortly. I will, thank you. My name is Joris van Balagoy. I'm working for the Creative Industries Fund NL. Um, we're one of the uh, six uh, cultural funding organizations in the Netherlands who are providing um, grants. Uh, 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 in in favor of the Ministry of OCW, Onderwijs, Culture and Wetenschappen. And um, we deal with architecture, uh, design, fashion, uh, but also are very much interested in interaction design and uh, in uh, financing uh, the games. And uh, we do that with uh, uh, a grant program that is called the Game Fund, Game Funds. Until now. Jeroen? Um, I'm Jeroen van Maastricht. I work as a creative director at uh, Freedom Lab. Freedom Lab is a strategic unit of an investment company. And we do future forecasting mainly in um, technology and, and creativity, so entertainment. And um, I uh, am advisor in the, in the game fund, probably because of my background, I was... Um, uh, lector, professor at the uh, Utrecht School of the Arts, and I set up the game design development program there and the Dutch Game Garden, things like that. Peter. Uh, my name is Peter de Jong. I'm co founder of Code Glue, uh, a game developer based in Rotterdam. Uh, we've been developing games for 16 years now. Um, yeah, we've worked on Rocket Dryad, we've done a co production with another studio called Sparkweed uh, called Ip and Op. Uh, we've been porting Terraria to mobile phones and Nintendo 3DS. And we're working on a new game now and called Andy Gods. We'll show a bit of that later. I'm trying to signal for an additional microphone. Oh, I thought you said we had a... Uh, okay, so you have to share or, or we'll, no, uh, we'll share one and then they share one. We'll see. Okay. okay. Um, <laughs> We're go we're gonna start with uh, you, Peter, okay. um, because um, you ha you were fortunate enough to have a couple of uh, games funded with the uh, uh, by the game fund. Uh, the first of them was uh, was uh, it was Rocket Ride, right, I the, think. The, yeah. the Rocket Ride, right. yeah. but but not from the beginning. It was a special edition, special version of. Rocket Ride? Um, yeah, we created, we wanted to create a uh, iOS version from the Xbox version uh, uh, of Rocket Riot. And uh, yeah, we wanted to, add it fe wanted to add features to that version, like a level editor. And we wanted to work with some external artists, uh, actually graffiti artists, um, uh, to make levels for the game and see how we can sort of experiment with the visual style of Rocket Ride because that was quite a sig signature, signature thing uh, of the game. Uh, it was this sort of abstract, uh, 3D, blocky uh, visual style and yeah, we wanted to see what the other artists could do with that. Okay, w we have a trainer of that game. Okay. It's, it's I don't know if it's for the correct version, but it's from the latest. We'll uh, you, you brought out so many of those, so um, this is Rocket Ride. And it should be sound. Retro's never been old fashioned. We are showing no more passion. Here we go, no hold on tight. Flip your jetpack and get with it. Wreck it, hit it, get it, see it. Come on and let's start the fight. So th th the game fund um, was one of the prerequisites for uh, getting a grant from the game from was this artistry in the game yeah. and it that was in fact the the graffiti artists making the levels that was enough 
for the game fund to say yes, uh, let's fund this. It's a question for you because you were one of the people to decide that. No, I wasn't. Oh, oh, y you weren't. <coughs> no, it was done it's before. Old. It's too old. Eh? It's too old. So yeah, it's it was one of the first my time. Ones. Yeah. So, and then we have to look into the to the files. What that commission actually uh, thought of it, but maybe you remember. Uh, uh, <laughs> It is old, uh, but I think it was one of the, the reasons uh, it was chosen for that, yeah. So we but really worked with uh, artists that were very unfamiliar with digital art, basically. So they are actually spraying uh, with cans. and <laughs> So this was a new uh, experience for them. And uh, yeah, they came up with pretty cool levels. So yeah, some pretty okay. cool ideas. You were involved uh, with Ip and Up? Okay, your your response to that. Me neither, but uh, still can tell something about why these kind of or this yeah th these kind of games are, are are supported by the game fund, and it is because um, they do something really good at uh, at Goat Clue, and that is that they they do their research well, and um, they yeah. They always try to be uh, innovative in 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 new strategies, uh, uh, new types of gameplay, uh, um, new collaborations with uh, the not the usual suspects. But to to work together with graffiti artists, for example, in a game situation is something interesting to to try and and something is interesting to research. And uh, if you look at the game like uh, Ip and Op, it's this this revolutionary new type of gameplay of course that is worth to research and 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 there is no uh, chance that with a game concept like that and without any money you will get that money uh, out of the market easily so uh, therefore you could apply at the game fund I guess okay uh, well let's have a look at the uh, uh, Ipanop which is a game that you didn't start but you helped create yeah definitely This is this is so, sort of the, the the definitive game to come out of uh, the game fund. Yeah, I, I think it is, and it, it really shows that uh, uh, that that well, yeah, that this this game does something that that you can't do without w with any other medium. I mean, this is really about investing the the the, the possibilities of new new kinds of of, of, of gameplay and. And here you see that uh, uh, gameplay is used in an artistic way, and that an artistic game is not about the design or the 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 the, the, the layer that you put on top of it. It's really about putting gameplay in the core of your project and and research what kind of of feeling you get while playing it and and experimenting with that. I think this is one of the best examples we can we can come up with. Yeah. Um. As yours just said, this probably wouldn't have been finished in the way it's now 
without a grant from the game fund, um, which at a lot of the grant went basically to your studio to, to develop the game further, which means that you wouldn't have done it without that, the grant. Is that correct? Um, is this wor working? Yeah. Um, yeah, it was definitely needed uh, uh, to participate in this project. Um, that said, uh, <laughs> it took us like three years to develop it, and we spent way more money than that. So, but, uh, but at some point, you you see how great the project is becoming, and uh, yeah, you decide to invest more of your own money into it. Is so, uh, and yeah, we're pretty pretty pleased with the results still. So the game is doing very well. Okay, um, let's move on to the last game as an example for a game fund. And this is really recent, so I guess this is one Jeroen has something to say about, which is called Antigods. I'm, I'm looking for confirmation from your, your uh, face. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Um, let's see what happens. D you were uh, in the jury to yes. decide on, on Antigods. Yes, I, w I was. Okay, let's first have a, have a look at the game, yeah. and then uh, uh, we'd like to hear why this would be um, applicable uh, to the game fund. game by your studio, S Stone Punky game. Yeah, correct. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Jeroen. Yes? How is this uh, an artistic game? Um, well, frankly, I, I, I don't know. Um, uh, I, I think that um, uh, I really have to, s to see the, um, uh, the part, uh, the, the uh, aanvraag. To uh, to see what we um, subsidized exactly, but it can be either uh, artistic uh, research or uh, innovative gameplay or um, uh, doing something that is not done before, something like that. Yeah. And uh, generally, generally speaking, what is it that you are looking for in a game? Well, like maybe you have to turn uh, or ask uh, Peter what his question was. He posed to the uh, game fund committee because. It's very hard to look at a result of a grant and then saying, why is this applicable or not? I mean, that's only the end result and we are not uh, uh, making decisions based on these end results. We are making decisions based on the plans that are delivered or proposed to the, to the committee. Good point. And so you have, to, you have to ask the question actually to Peter. Well, I think uh, there is uh, two uh, important uh, aspects of this, uh, for this game that might apply to the game fund. Uh, I think the first is uh, we are trying a new type of game. So it's not a copy of any kind of game. We're sort of inspired by MOBAs, but it's something completely different. Uh, so the gameplay is something new and unproven, and uh, yeah, we're investigating that. Uh, but also we're going to do a lot of uh, research into how can we procedurally generate a lot of the content for the game. So that might be in levels, but but might also be in the storyline and might be in the music and um, so that's probably the innovation part uh, that that really triggered this uh, this project okay and it's it's actually working out uh, yeah it's uh, in it's been in developed now for a year almost a year and uh, we're actually now at the point that we're gonna do the procedurally generated stuff uh, the gameplay uh, yeah we've been experimenting with that quite a lot uh, lately and last couple of months we've been showing the game on uh, different kind of trade shows and 
uh, people seem to dig the, 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 the gameplay that we have there, so uh, that's a good motivator for us to continue, of course. And now we're gonna uh, yeah, do the, the, the funky stuff. <laughs> So, so here you go, you see, you're looking back at this game, you say, hey, you can shoot stuff, uh, it looks like a game, it looks like a game you probably know, but uh, um, of course it has, it has all the quality in the design, I don't mention that, but it has to do with the question or the part in the process that is innovative, that you want to do your research to, that part you have to isolate and formulate these research questions and formulate a project or a, a phase in your, in your iterative uh, designing process that you want to state and that you want to present to the to the uh, game fund committee and that's what we were um, uh, looking at of course so to look backwards to these games again it's 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 quite difficult and it also makes it difficult for new uh, uh, or new yeah uh, applicants people who are interested in the game fund I mean of course you can have a look in a website and see what kind of projects are uh, are supported, but you never see the application first, and maybe that's something wh we have to work wh 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 Why don't you publish that? Uh, I, I mean, yeah. the, 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 the most important bits of it. Yeah, I understand. Well, um, we did once, together with uh, uh, Adrian uh, de Jong, who is now also advisor in the, in the committee, and he published his uh, um, uh, application for the game Bounden. And what we got was like, Tons of copies <laughs> of this concept, and uh, so it didn't it didn't work out either. Um, but I agree, we should have some kind of uh, way to to better explain what uh, the, the 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 grant program is mean for, and what are the goals of the grant program. Because after all, the 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 the, the subsidy programs, the, the grant programs, are there to uh, uh, yeah to achieve the goals. First of all, because there's one more uh, game fund um, opp opportunity to apply for a game fund uh, grant. Yeah, there's one more. Uh, last round of this year's closing uh, date is October 18th. Uh, so that means you can send in your applications through the website of the Stimulierings Funds, Creative Industries Fund. And I have to have them before October 18th and we will present them to Jeroen and some other people. Um, and that will be the last round ever because, uh, yeah, as has been said, the game fund is closing. Okay, be before uh, talking about what comes next to the game mm -hmm. fund, this last round, is there anything in particular that you are looking for? <laughs> no, we're always looking for the same thing. <laughs> so, um, um, basically, uh, the, the f and that is something you always said is really important. Most people that hand in a grant, hand in because they want money, but the fund is not there to give you money, the fund also has its own own goals. And, so, and what we want to achieve is to stimulate um, uh, investigation into uh, games as a medium, uh, really looking into innovative gameplay in uh, researching aspects of the medium that uh, haven't been researched yet. So um, we're always uh, looking for for that that uh, uh, that stuff. Anybody? Any? One in the audience with a question for any of the panel members. Um, the, uh, the fund, the, uh, the, the basis to, to hand out the fund, is it just to um, elaborate on uh, what's already there? Uh, do you want new research or do you want it to actually be successful commercially? The, 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 the question is, uh, uh, does a project need to be, or, or will at least have a chance of being uh, commercially successful? For us, that's not the main goal. I mean, it's not forbidden, of course. If you have a commercial success with a project that was once granted by the uh, Game Fund, congratulations. We don't want our money back. We just say, hey, well done. I mean, uh, for us, it's about research. And uh, what we want to boost in, in, in the games industry is like a little bit of free space where uh, uh, developers, makers like you, yeah, can buy themselves some time to, uh, to do this basic research, to go uh, abroad, to do this collaboration with this artist that uh, is not very used to work in a, in a game environment, for example. So all these kind of new experimental uh, uh, types of games, those, uh, th those plans we're interested in. 
And that's not so much, as I said, has to do with the, the quality of the artwork. It's about putting the, uh, the gameplay into the core of your research, I guess, and, and try to be innovative in that particular ways. Because games are such a fantastic medium to work with, and they can do stuff no other medium can do. That's, that's great. And in, in that sense, like for instance, winning a, an award that recognizes the quality of, for instance, the design uh, or uh, or the gameplay is is uh, is m much more uh, valuable because it som somehow proves also within the discourse that you did some v uh, valuable research. And if you sell a lot, yeah, that's nice because other people see it and it also makes it valid. But that's not the most important thing, no. Um, any more questions in the back? Is the research shared? Is the research shared? Um, well, the, the, I don't know uh, if you know much about artistic research, but um, uh, it, is, um, it is not shared uh, uh, in another way than the, the, the product or maybe in talks or something like that. But uh, I, 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 most people don't. And it's a pity that it's really interesting. The, the, the most designers don't really document the, their research in a very systematic way. But uh, most people um, uh, talk in, in, um, in conferences and share uh, th their ideas, I think. Yeah, yeah we and won't then, force you to write a paper or publish uh, an article about it. But it's, of course, excellent if you have a strategy uh, to share the knowledge that is developed in the process. Peter, and, and that you were talking point. about uh, generating procedural uh, storylines and stuff like that. Are mm -hmm. you planning on sharing the results of that? Um, didn't really plan it <laughs> yet, but we could do that, no problem. I mean, <laughs> we're uh, pretty open about that, so yeah. Okay. What are the top three reasons um, you actually fill applicants? Can, can I do that? <laughs> Go ahead. Oh, wait, m maybe we can do this with an example. I know you did literally all the music for, for any game which we have seen up here, but now shut up, <laughs> phone. But maybe it's, it's good to, to first, li like, sort of generally. Uh, go into that and then uh, look at something because then people have sort of a frame. Okay. Um, one of the most important re uh, reasons why applications fail is that the applicants uh, d don't um, investigate why a fund is there. So they, they don't understand the, r the reason actually why a fund is there. So they basically say, I want to bring out this title, uh, give me money. And uh, then I, we ask why. <laughs> uh, and that's not in there. Uh, so so uh, that's a problem. Then an, an another problem is um, uh, if you would ask Beethoven uh, to, to first write an application before he could make his fifth um, uh, -da -da -da, uh, comp composition, um, uh, it's very difficult because then he has to put things in words that are quite difficult to put into words. Like -da -da -da. So, so um, uh, uh, you have to be able to uh, somehow describe um, what this gameplay is going going to be, and also maybe prototype it in, in a certain way that people really get a feel for it. So th that that is quite difficult. Eh? Uh, game designers all over the world still finding their music annotation to to share these things. And some people are much better in uh, in in making that um, that statement. So that that is also something. How ma do you make your design? Um, how can you communicate your design? So that that's a, a second thing, and um, some people fail completely. Uh, I, I remember that, uh, yeah, when I, I I saw a lot of student work, and we we focused a lot on uh, being able to communicate. Yeah, some people go wrong there, and then um, uh, then there's also a misconception on what artistic research is. I think lots of people think, oh, then it's about art, and and they do do a lot of. A beautiful art that somehow um, is all inspired by uh, Tolkien or I don't know dwarves something, um, and and uh, that's uh, very uh, it shows a lot of craftsmanship, but it, it's not the kind of art uh, uh, we are we are artistic research we're, we're looking for. So that these are three things that often go wrong. Absolutely. Yeah. If I can make an extra note on the second one, second point uh, for the, the writing part, uh, 
for the last uh, uh, proposal for uh, the game fund, we worked with Niels de Hoofd, the previous speaker, uh, to do most of the writing for the for the for the proposals. So we had nice words there. <laughs> so he was able to tr translate my thoughts into a much nicer proposal, basically. Is he expensive to hire? I just heard uh, that Studio E you worked you for him, shutdown. Uh, so. I don't want to see those names on the budget, though. But uh. <laughs> okay, I uh, saw so a couple of more questions in the back, and okay. So, so the, the question uh, is, wh yeah. why is the game fund closing, and what's next on the horizon? Um, so we talked about the last round, and... And there we go. Yeah, I wouldn't be here if I didn't come up with a solution, of course, because that would be very stupid. Um, uh, and I hope it will be a solution for uh, for the Dutch games industry, though. Um, now, the reason why the game fund is closing is very simple. Um, this uh, fund was in initiated in 2008 by the uh, Media Funds, Media Fund, and uh, Funds BKVB destijds. Um, both of these organizations uh, uh, are, uh, well, the Fonds BKVB was uh, did stop four years ago, and now in 2017 also the Dutch Media Fund will be closed down. Um, so our uh, partner, um, yeah, suddenly died, <laughs> which meant that uh, half of the money was already gone. And uh, we've been spoken to the Dutch policymakers at the ministry, and they said, no, we won't give you uh, uh, extra money uh, that is especially labeled for the Dutch games industry. So we didn't have another option than to uh, open our existing grant programs, like uh, uh, the, the other ones we do for architecture, uh, design, and e-culture, and reshape them somehow to open them uh, also for the game uh, developers. So that means that uh, from 2007 on, the both, yeah, actually the game fund and the e-culture grant program, as we know it now, will somehow merge and go on uh, under the name of digital culture, which is a name that is internationally much more uh, uh, yeah, <laughs> how do you say <laughs> appealing than e-culture, which one, no one understands what it is actually after all these years. So the uh, budget of the game fund was three hundred thousand euros per, per year. Per year, and it will be now like more or less a million a year. Although, but yeah, there will be much more competition, of course, from other types of digital projects, digital designers that are also have to share within this uh, this budget. <clears throat> but here's my point. I mean, although it doesn't say game fund anymore, it's really also meant for you guys as, as game designers to apply in this new grant program. And it might be a little more difficult to apply for a specific title, but we take you serious and, and um, um, we think that like architects, like designers, like all the other people we uh, uh, we are used to uh, to work with, you guys have also the qualities to come up with proper uh, uh, concepts of of design and research and uh, and apply in such a way. So that could be, like I said, you have to to isolate this this innovative uh, uh, part within your project and make a plan around that part. And I don't care if the game in the end will be there and will be commercial or successful. So d just to be perfectly clear, you are not going to fund games as a whole, but certain aspects of the game and especially the research for... Well, it could be that the application is, is for a game as a whole, but then it should be really clear what is the research that is behind developing this game. So if I were you, I would just continue making games and let the market uh, uh, do their way. But we're here for this kind of projects in which there is no market situation that can 
come with a solution. So, so if, if you are in this kind of situations, you know how to who to call. Okay. Any more questions? That was very clear. <laughs> you are going to remain involved. Uh, I I am not asked yet. I, I'm, uh, a, I'm, uh, a, I'm a pain in the ass. That's and another thing. No, it's, it's absolutely not. <coughs> uh, Jeroen has been advisor for the game, for I guess, for four years now. Uh, that's as long as you can be an advisor in our organization. So we have to say goodbye to Jeroen as well. But there is more <laughs> people, of course, <laughs> coming from the games industry that could be uh, in, the, in these committees. Yeah, yeah. because... Uh, uh, now, um, game applicants will be compared to... Well, something completely not game. Yes, it's uh, not possible. Well, that's what a lot of people say, but I doubt that. I doubt it. How are you going to do that? Well, there's two two ways you can deal with that. So either um, you are uh, uh, accepting this uh, uh, these grant applications and present them to one uh, committee that has all these specific uh, types of knowledge, but of course there will be one or two people coming from a games back background there, but there will probably also be people from uh, with an art background or no, well, you can think of many m m many types of knowledge that you want to have in this committee. So you can isolate this uh, application and say, okay, we, are real, we will only present these specific ones that have game on it to these people with, who understands games perfectly. But yeah, what you sometimes see is that if you have this bunch of highly specialist uh, people in your committee and you present them the applications from the field they know so well, they're going to be very, very critical about these these plans and because they always know better in the end, or at least they think they know La better. <laughs> <laughs> like you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And, and well, he's probably right. But uh, we, we had the same problem uh, like four years ago when we uh, started the grant uh, program for design. I mean, design is completely uh, uh, broad. I mean, there's fashion in it, there's graphic design in it, there's product design in it, there's illustration, all these different kind of, 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 of design fields. And, 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 and what happened if, if you have like ambassadors from all these disciplines looking uh, together to this whole bunch of applications, they are not going to criticize their own, uh, uh, or how do you say, the, the, the projects that's coming from their, their, their own background, they're going to defend them. And you get a whole different kind of, of meeting in which people stand for this typical kind of, 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 of yeah. applications. Anybody in the room who is considering applying for a grant, either this coming game fund or in the future? Anybody care to say what's it going to be about? <laughs> <laughs> it's understand in the hall. Yeah, you're next to us. I'll talk to you later. <laughs> uh, zero three eight games. It's uh, it's in the hall. They have a stand, and they are going to apply apparently. Um, anybody else? What well, well, this coming some, but 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 <laughs> one of the things I actually w was very surprised about um, that the game fund itself didn't receive enough. Uh, applications. Oh, we receive a lot of applications. That's that's not a problem. Okay, I understood yeah. that, that because she, you not didn't enough, spend the money in the end. Not enough. Well, it's not. There's one more round, but uh, there's a lack of quality or a lack of understanding. I should put it like that, probably about what the game fund is no, aiming for. No, okay, 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 but. It's not correct that you did not spend the uh, the full amount last year or the year before. Yeah, but we we, we can still uh, use that money this year. So there's okay, there's but but, but then still, if it, because it's it's pretty small compared to, for instance, movie. That's right. And uh, how does the whole of the Dutch game industry not have the quality to come up with good enough? Applications. No, the, the, I, I mentioned a few reasons. Well, uh, 
it is a very uh, it's still a very um, premature medium so to speak so um, uh, understanding what artistic research into this medium is uh, and that discourse is uh, has been developed over the past 10 years but that's not really big and a lot of people are also in in, in the game field for uh, very different reasons which are completely legitimate uh, to, to make like blockbuster fantastic uh, uh, games or something with gambling doesn't matter but um, uh, so so uh, the, the, the there's not that many people uh, in the game industry really focusing on game design as an artistic discipline. Um, so, so th th that's an aspect that still has to has to grow, I think. But I find it really, really important because I truly believe that games are becoming the, the dominant media form in the 21st century, and most people know how to play them, but uh, very few people know how to actually write. Eh? So the, we can all read, but nobody can can write. So you have to uh, develop a culture, and I think that uh, the game fund and and other initiatives in the Netherlands, Netherlands really helped the Dutch indie scene to be very visible uh, uh, around the world, and we have to keep on uh, uh, doing that. Um, and um, uh, I think that the, the the applications are getting better. Like in, in the beginning, it, it, it was still very unclear um, what this discourse was, and now you you see that it, that it is emerging. Of course, digital distribution and the rise of the indie scene have, have helped, and, and also uh, a lot of quality uh, educational and academic programs in the field uh, have, have emerged. So um, uh, we are, we've only just begun, I think. Okay. Um, if people want to apply after uh, the game from some, uh, for the... Uh, uh how on earth do you translate deal regeling and I just say grant program digital okay the culture. For, for, for the grant program uh, uh, digital culture uh, next year um, they go to your website absolutely and we didn't have the you URL select deal uh, regeling digital no, culture I, I mean uh, digital because culture. it's stimulating funds for the creative industry of stimulating funds stimulating funds punt and now okay you see this that button that says aanvragen applications it's a small green button press that button do you help people with their applications absolutely yes um, not after they submit it but in the uh, in the weeks before that of course we're absolutely open for uh, advising you on how to uh, put your budget together, uh, uh, how to formulate your goals, how to target us, actually. I mean, we also want good applications, so we can help you with that, absolutely. Okay, some questions from the room in the back? You want to repeat that question? I, I don't know if I... No, for the uh, audience, I mean... No, no, uh, but, but I don't know if I completely uh, <laughs> uh, understood the question. For I, I you, you asked, if will we judge differently w w in, in, in the context of digital culture than in, in the game fund? I guess the, the, the scope of this new grant program will be uh, a bit wider uh, than it is now. If you look at the, the, the criteria for the game fund, it's really, really aiming to... Uh, very specific goals, like it's it's meant for the indie scene. It has it is about artistic value. It is about gameplay. But if you look at the goals of the the the, the creative industries fund as a as a as a, as a, in a, as a total, um, and and take this uh, grant program for digital culture, you could also think of more like uh, uh, applied games that are now uh, yeah really hard to uh, to. Uh, um, uh, realize. Running out of work, yeah. How to realize with, with with our money? But I so I guess we are we will be more open to different kind of projects, and also uh, we'll be able to support initiatives that comes from the sector. So like meetings, uh, uh, um, every every kind of 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 project you can think of that is not only making a specific game, but helping you uh, to to share knowledge or to build knowledge together, uh, uh, to, to go abroad, to present your work in an international context, to go to the Gamescom, to go to the GDC, all these kind of programs will be probably more easy accessible for the game industries 
uh, within uh, the new context. And also I'm thinking, for example, uh, the grant program for uh, talent development that we have uh, like uh, 30, um, how do you say, burs and <laughs> grants. <laughs> yeah, grants for scholarships indeed. That, that are not really uh, um, to realize a specific project, but to work uh, on your own qualities as a, as, a, as a game designer. Also, these, these kind of, of grant programs we have will be probably more easy uh, to, uh, uh, to apply to. Which you, the question is, uh, would you uh, look at uh, non-digital, partly or fully non-digital games like board games projects? Probably not. Uh, no, it's it's called di digital culture. Yeah. But but uh, now with yeah. the Internet of Things, you you, you yeah. just put a sensor yes. in, in your cards and then and there you go. And there you go. I mean, there are very interesting crossovers to think about. I mean, I'm uh, thinking of uh, escape rooms that we uh, just uh, also uh, rewarded, and and so there's there's interesting crossovers to make. And of course, you have something that's called post-digital culture. And, and I was thinking, how does that relate to digital culture? But of course, there is a relation. <laughs> post-digital culture? Yeah, like post-internet. Is, is a lot of people are thinking about the time beyond internet, for example. Okay. So we are thinking how we should deal with that. And I think I got a solution, but that's not for this discussion. Probably. But also stuff with, with uh, wetware, bio, hacking. All this kind of stuff. Okay. First Can round will be. This is a, let me repeat the yeah, question sorry. for the people in the back. Can people already apply for the? I'm digital? so enthusiastic. Oh, oh, oh. When can they apply? Go. First of February. Yeah, and please contact me in January, so I can help you. Any more questions? The back. Yeah, that he's the, he's doing the judging. I'm doing the helping. That's true. Okay, the, the, the question is uh, b because he offered help for applicants, and the question is. Um, how is that going to work? Because the people from the fund helping the applicants don't always agree with the people who have to judge That's the possible, of course. But we will always advise you. And you'll notice that if you ask me uh, questions on how to uh, sharpen your applications, that I will ask you questions back. So in the end, I'm only helping you so to say, make up your mind <laughs> about what it is that you want, but I will not suggest uh, you, for example, well, I should put a little bit more uh, art here, should in put a little bit more research there. I mean, that's not how I will help you. I will help you by asking questions that are, in a good way, hopefully, sharpening your uh, application. And, and then, of course, it's up for the committee to, uh, to decide. And, and, and in that process, I'm only uh, listening. He's not allowed to say anything. Exactly. Okay. We're going to wrap this up. Um, first of all, thank you, Peter. And, uh, You're welcome. 2017 Antigods. <laughs> Hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so that's yeah, going to be 2018. In, nah, uh, maybe in early access uh, somewhere in 2017, yes. Okay, Jeroen, thank you uh, very much. Can I say one more thing? Because there's also Bram. <laughs> Hi. Uh, Bram is also a uh, uh, grant officer, how do you call it? Well, anyway, he, he's knowledge about European funding. So uh, he also, he's also around. Check him out because the guy has a great uh, uh, portfolio of opportunities. And, uh, and there's much more talks about money. And, and you do have a stand at yeah, the... Yeah, we're, uh, uh, we're at the... Uh, what is it? The network... Area. area. Plan yeah. 5. Yeah. So if so. you have any questions for yours regarding um, uh, grants, you'll stick around all day. 
Thank you very much. Thank you.